Hello, my name is Scott for SB Gaming. We are back here in Euro Truck Simulator 2, where we last left off. Where were we? We were in Debrecen? Debrecen, yes, indeed. Um, and yeah, we ended up missing our exit, driving all the way down to here. Although now that I'm looking at it, we really could have just uh, come like this into Transinet. Yeah, this might have been a little bit better. Rather than, you know, pulling Yui and going back along this highway. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, um, of course we could have also explored this road, so it wouldn't have been all bad. But, uh, nonetheless, it is what it is. So, I'm going to jump into the job market and the freight market. Because we can do some interesting deliveries here. We have electronics, 8 tons of them. So more than enough that we can handle with our truck. It is a fragile cargo and a standard delivery. It's worth $13,525 or euros. It is only 474 kilometers, seven hours, 39 minutes trip time. It's worth 26, 27, 26 euros per kilometer. And yeah, compared to something like this, it's slightly longer, it definitely pays us more. But uh, yeah, I do like that. And this can definitely fit into a single episode most likely. So that's what I'm going to aim for. Anyway, I am going to take this job and... Oh, look at that. We're going from Transnet, which I believe is where we are currently, to Tremary. And from Debrecen, Hungary. Yep, Hungary. <laughs> to Krakow, Poland. Anyway, let's set a destination. And oh, it's right here. <laughs> Yes, indeed. And yeah, we had just dropped off sawdust panels. And now, the other things that we could take are wall panels from Debrecen to Grass, but we've taken this journey and I really don't want to drive the same roads. Plus, we've already been to Grass, and my goal for this series was just to get to different new towns. So that's, that's a no-go. We've already been to Dresden, so that's a no-go either and well Krakow we can either get paid 13,684 euros or 13,525 euros this will I think give us a bonus because it is a fragile cargo although this one is 500 oh wow they're both going to the same place but uh That's a much different uh, path. Interesting. Anyway, we are going to take this one because this path would, you know, we've already driven on this road here. So I want to take somewhere different. So I'm going to take this one. It is fragile. It'll give us, I think, extra experience points. 474 kilometers to go. Trailers ready. Proceed to the loading area. And that is over here. Oh. Oh bother. <laughs> All right, let's uh shift our truck around and All right, we overcompensated there. Uh, I just want to go straight back. And yeah, just straight back. Let's pick up our load. There we go. We have the trailer connected and on our way with a fragile cargo now we definitely want to be careful with this because damage could be bad well obviously damage is going to be bad but uh what is our time remaining oh so we have 21 hours and 33 minutes so we can definitely take a rest stop and uh Alright, so we need to take a right from here. 
Is there any traffic? Nope. Wow. There was a lot of traffic on these roads before. Anyway, we are driving with... Oh, boy. With 1% uh, damage on our cab. From uh, a bump we would taken, I believe. And we need to go to the left. And if I'm not mistaken, yes indeed. Awesome. We didn't get a red light. Fine, because we had got into the intersection before it turned red. Yes indeed. Alright, so we are going to have to watch our speed because we are in a street speed trap zone. So... Yeah, let's uh, stay around. Oh, there's a guy at the speed trap. Anyway, we are just about to get out of the speed trap zone and all oh, EA acres. Oh. Fortunately, we are only carrying eight tons, so our truck should really get to kick it into high gear. Of course, we are going to have to be careful because this could be expensive if we do take any damage. But fortunately, except for one delivery, we have not damaged a single load. Oh yes, indeed. I believe that there was a an achievement for doing like five deliveries in a row without damage, so that was good. But uh, yeah, let's power up onto the highway heading towards Budapest We're going to have to exit right and once again we are leaving a speed trap zone and yeah we are in the proper lane to go to the right oh yeah we're going a little too fast but no problem anyway Alright, so we are 89 kilometers an hour and it is another 6 hours and 24 minutes left. We have our next rest stop in 2 hours and 7 minutes. Time remaining for this delivery is 20 hours and 24 minutes. And I'm going to have to check, yeah I'm going to jump out to the map. All right, so we have a rest stop here. Oh, we got a whole bunch of them. So, and then we are going to be entering, what is this? Uh, is this Czechoslovakia or no? It, what's this country here? <laughs> um, odds are own. Oh, Oh, this is a two-lane road. Oh, this is gross. You know what? All right, so <laughs> about that, I really didn't want to see that. So we are going to... Yeah, this might not be a... Okay, anyway. I'm going to take a rest stop there, just because of reasons. Oh. Oh, this sucks. Yep, our highway turns into a two-lane road. There's a lot of traffic. Fortunately, we are going to be taking a rest break soon. Hopefully soon. Oh, really? Thank you for that. And yeah, I'm going to take a rest break here. Or maybe not there. I'm gonna... Uh, yeah, um, well... Yeah, let's uh, take a rest, rest stop here. Uh, uh, yep, yep, 
I am. I'm. I'm stopping. All right. So it is six oh eight in the morning. Hopefully that means that there won't be too much traffic on the road this early in the morning. But uh, yeah, unfortunately. Alright, so time remaining 10 hours and 48 minutes. Next rest stop in 10 hours and 58 minutes. Fortunately, we obviously do not need to take another rest break because we can do this job in 5 hours and 32 minutes. 341 kilometers to go. So it is no problem at all. Unfortunately, we are on a, a two lane road. So I may be cutting a chunk of this journey out. <laughs> Yeah, because this uh, two-lane road is probably going to be slow. A lot of twists and corners and curves. And, and it looks like we are going to... Oh, Corsais has been discovered. Oh. Okay. We're going to need to go right. Light screen. No problem at all. And I am going to have to go right eventually, so I'll jump in this lane. And green light. Oh, yeah, you better uh, yield to me, because if you were to damage my cargo, I would... I would scream. <laughs> I'd scream like a little girl. <laughs> nah, I wouldn't. <laughs> well, I'd probably cry like a little girl. I'd roll up beside my computer here and... No, my fragile cargo got destroyed by a stupid AI driver. No. Oh, I discovered a recruitment agency. Well, yeah. Anyway, we have $39,000. 729. And, uh, so we are going to need to go right. We can soon pay off the loan. Although we are probably going to have to pay, take another loan just because, well, um, <laughs> we're going to have to buy a truck for another driver that we hire, if we hire a driver. Oh, this is painful. This is painful. All right. No red light. You don't go. No. Good. Good boy. All right, we're finally out of this town. I'm going over a bridge. And yeah, we have to go left. shower traffic <laughs> I'm thinking I should have gone right when I had the chance rather than following the stupid GPS <laughs> uh, seriously all right go go Now it's going to be my turn to be cautious because of reasons. Whoa! Alright, well I'm out in the lane, so they're going to have to stop for me. <laughs> uh, that is my motto. I got the right away now because of reasons. <laughs> oh, that was rather stressful. 
I don't want to do that ever again. <laughs> we'll never come to this place because we will. We have discovered, so we have no incentive to come here. Yay! Oh, did that sign say 120? Hey, they actually have a decent highway here. Wait a minute. Oh, bother. Yeah, we have to exit off soon. Oh, that's, that's disappointing. All right, let's get back on the road. All right, so we need to go to Lublin. Is that it? We're on our way to Krakow, Tremere, but uh, Lublin's on the way, so. Yeah. All right, I need to slow down, slow down the truck, and take this rather awkward, oh, oh, thread the needle. And I need to go left. Great. All right, I'm good. Anyway, we have another 177 kilometers. It's actually going by pretty quickly. A little under three hours to go. And yeah, it is 1125, 11, no, ETA is 1125. It is currently 839. And can I pass? Oh no, I can't pass. But on the one hand, I am in a truck, so at least I can see over the cars and to see whether I can pass. I'm going to pass here, and uh, maybe not. Oh dear. <laughs> okay, well, we are... <clears throat> I didn't have to pass. <laughs> well, about that. Oh, uh, we have to take a left to Lublin. Green. All right, we're on a nice two-lane highway, but unfortunately it doesn't last because we have to turn on left. 146 kilometers to go, two hours, 20 minutes. Left to Krakow. Are we going to make it? Are, oh, don't tell me that that truck of cars is going our way. Make our first pass of the day, and that was no problem. Now we just have to deal with. Oh, look at that! Oh, oh! No! <laughs> oh, car, why did you? Awesome. No damage to the load. We got three damage to our vehicle. <laughs> oh, that, uh, that was a little bit scary. <laughs> well, on the one hand, it's damage to our vehicle, which we can repair. I'm just going to take a look at that. 
2% damage to the engine, 1% to the transmission, 3% to the chassis. Oh, 800. Yeah, that was an expensive mistake. Anyway. <laughs> well, we dodged a bullet there. What's the speed here? Mm. Oh, 30. Now the question is, I saw a 30 kilometer. All right, that's good. Some road crews doing some work. 70 kilometers an hour. Oh, oh bother. Uh, yeah, I had just seen it, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm going to need to slow down. Fortunately, it does not look like I have to deal with oncoming traffic, so. Yeah, let's uh, get back on the road and back to a 70 highway. Oh, look at this. It's a wide road, that's good. 28 kilometers to go, so we are actually not that far. Not that far indeed. Krakow is coming up. 23 minutes left to this journey. And we are going to have to exit right very shortly. One hundred meters, and slow down. You ideally want to get your angle of approach right so you don't slam the barrier. Oh, is that where those trucks, that truck with a trailer full of cars went? No one going. Whoa. Oh, no. Okay, good. <laughs> All right. So, 10 kilometers to go, 10 minutes remaining. There is gas just right here, but yeah, it shouldn't be a problem. We have plenty of gas. We have a 1,400 liter tank. Left turn coming up here into Krakow. And oh! Yeah, about that. <laughs> uh, all right, Krakow discovered. There is sand builders. We have a hotel here. Is that it? We got uh something here is that a garage oh we're gonna wanna we are zero kilometers zero minutes remaining oh yep yeah. oh yes indeed we got zero damage on the trailer we're carrying eight tons of oh bother Oh, this is going to be interesting. Oh, yes. I remember Tremere quite well. Very narrow. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, wow. Um. Oh, 
did I damage the... <laughs> so lucky. So lucky indeed. Yes, I remember Trevmary very well from a previous game. Painful doesn't... Yeah. As you can see, that is a very narrow entrance. Why truckers allow them to have a, a depot like this? All right, we are going to... So straighten this up. I'm becoming pro. Yes, indeed. Okay, maybe not. Alright, so is my wheel straight now? Oh, let's go back the other way. Like that. Disconnecting trailer. Excellent! Job completed! Distance driven, 485 kilometers, time taken 16 hours, 31 minutes, fuel consumed 174.3 liters, base reward for 485 kilometers is 10,980, 485 experience points, proficiency bonus level 6 is 988 euros, long distance delivery bonus for skill rank 3 is 1,038 euros and 121 experience points. Fragile cargo bonus, skill rank 1, 519 euros, yes indeed, 106 experience points, bonus for parking the trailer, of course, 45 XP, for a total of 13,525 euros and 757 experience, putting us at level 7 enthusiast, 6,364 experience of 63 or no 7300 experience required for level 8 so we just need something that will give us 936 experience points okay well maybe i'll have to wait till next time because oh yeah but we can of course put another skill point into skills yes indeed so what do i want here eco driving an extra 5% of fuel saved when driving with free or with a trailer. Just in time, no. All right, so rank number two of Fragile Cargo is an additional 10% higher reward, which is a 5% increase on top of this for delivering a Fragile Cargo. So if we remember what that uh, was, then add half as much and that's how much, or no, double it. <laughs> yeah, we, we had a 5% higher reward for delivering a fragile cargo. Now it's a 10%. And I don't believe the XP, yeah, we just get a standard 22%. So what I'm going to probably do is put a point into high value cargo. All cargo is valuable, but some loads are more valuable than others. Companies trust only proven experts to carry out these kind of deliveries. Oh, no, not long distance. Because, <laughs> yeah, I don't really want to do over 850 kilometers for now. We're just going to do it in high value cargo, which gives us high value job offers are unlocked and plus 5% higher reward for high value delivery, plus 18% higher experience, experience bonus for high value delivery. So where we got, yeah. Plus 5% higher reward for delivering a fragile cargo. We get slightly less experience. So only 18% more 
rather than 20% more. But, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, so yeah, I'm going to... Important deliveries unlocked. Urgent deliveries unlocked. 6% higher reward, 3% increase for finishing an important delivery. 7 plus 10% higher reward for finishing urgent delivery and plus 30% experience bonus. Uh, okay. No, but I'm I'm definitely going to go with high value cargo. All right. So, at this point, let's jump out, back out to the menu. So, I have 3% damage. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to have to get that repaired as soon as possible. Anyway, my money is $52,304. And if I wanted to, I could repay this and not have to pay an installment. Although that would only leave me with $2,304. And I do know for a fact that uh, in diagnostics here, yeah, 1,866 euros that would be leaving it tight because that would give us about 500 euros to spare which would not be good especially if we get another speeding ticket or ticket at all yeah about that anyway that's going to be it for me today thank you for watching this episode of euro truck simulator 2 my name is scott for sb gaming and as always drive safe and have a good day